So we've spoken a lot about this um, susceptibility test, different different ones, right? And the basis is you just put in a drug, right? Then allowing micro microorganisms to grow around that drug. So if those bacteria grow close to the drug too much, you know that they don't they are not scared of the drug, so they are resistant to the drug. But if they grow and they leave a space between them and the drug, it shows that the drug actually has the ability of killing them. Right? And that space that they leave between them and the drug is what is known as what the clear zone or the inhibition zone. So you can also use what clindamycin for this too, right? So so that clindamycin uh, D test, also known as D zone test. Is used to dictate inducible clindamycin resistance in bacteria, particularly in what Staphylococcus aureus and beta hemolytic or Staph streptococci. Right? So this test will actually make you know whether a bacteria is resistant to what erythromycin. Okay, sorry, a bacteria that is resistant to erythromycin is also resistant to clindamycin, like they do it together. So see this CD is clindamycin, this E is erythromycin. Yeah, so you want to know the resistance status, you get it. So it is important because such bacteria might appear susceptible to what clindamycin in routine susceptibility test, but can become resistant in the presence of an inducing enzyme, agents like what? Erythromycin, okay? So you prepare the inoculum, you inoculate the agar plates, you play the DIX, which is an erythromycin DIX, and what? Clindamycin DIX, approximately what? 15 to 20 millimeters apart on the agar surface, like we did here. You incubate and allow the bacteria to grow, okay? Then, after it's done, you now observe for the space, okay? The size of the space that at least the bacteria actually gave, grew and gave from the drug, you understand? So in interpretation, if you're having a positive D test, so a, a D-shaped zone around the clindamycin DIX indicates what? Inducible resistance, meaning clindamycin should not be used for treatment, okay? So this one shows that it is positive, okay? There's a D-shaped. Can you see a D-shape? That's what they call D. So if it is negative, you see that there's a clear zone around the clindamycin DIX. So in the case that the bacteria can be killed by clindamycin, you understand? So basically, the clinical significance is to help you to guide your treatments so that you not just be using drugs that won't work, you understand? You not be using drugs that won't work, all right? So to ensure effectiveness in treatment of what those bacteria and um, stuff, right? So you can see this. It is positive, it is showing like a D, you understand? It's kind of like a D around the clindamycin. Means you shouldn't use it, right? So I think basically this is it for clindamycin D test or D zone test. And that's for antimicrobial susceptibility, right? Principle, procedure, interpretation, and results.